everyone so today we're going to start making our um, journal for recording our results with the dyeing techniques so I've got this cardboard that's come out of a, a pillowcase a new pillowcase I haven't put on yet but I stole cardboard out because I thought that's a nice size for a book Let me just check I'm going to need to cut it down actually. Oh, I need to make my pages a bit smaller that way. Oh, that's okay, I can do that later. So I'm going to trim probably about that much off. Um, it's going to be on the inside obviously. So let's grab. I don't know if, oh, I don't really want to use my paper trimmer. Uh, <clears throat> yep. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, let's see what on this side. <clears throat> so this fabric is what we um got with solar dyeing using the turtle beans and red onion skin. Oh gosh. <clears throat> I will put an eye card for that video so you can go and watch it. There we go, so that's the right size now. So let's do our fabric the right size. So <clears throat> Nice big piece of fabric. So I want this journal to record um, my findings because I'm still experimenting with solar dyeing. And I want just a little record of swatches and things like that so I can see the differences with like alum, no alum, cotton, wool, silk. Uh, my food colouring has arrived, so I'm going to be playing with different types of food colourings. And it looks like we've actually got the black that should break, hopefully, so I'll be setting that up soon. And that's going to be great fun. <clears throat> okay. So, we have our cover. It's a little bit bigger than our base, and I'm just going to stick it down. We can use our gel medium and hmm. I'm not sure I like the way that that <laughs> makes that noise. Well, I do. You might not be able to hear it because I'm be using I'm using my microphones now, which is good fun. So I think just spread that on there. Right. <laughs> so got a lot more play with with the solar dyeing. I'm also going to be jumping into dyeing some acrylic yarn. Probably only going to be doing that for the once though <clears throat> because you have to buy special synthetic yarns for that. And I bought some yarn for a specific project. So that's going to be fun to play with. But I, I'm a bit scared of that because it's a bit more you know, got to be careful not to get it anywhere because it will sting quite badly. I'm used to food colouring stains, but um, yeah. <laughs> and I am going to sew my signatures through the cover. Um, I might even look up some decorative binding options. 
that might be fun. I've never done anything like that before. That would be fun. So I've cut out 12 pieces of paper. I'm thinking like maybe three signatures. I'm not sure. I might have to reduce the amount of papers because of how the spines. We shall see. Yeah, and this was a piece of cotton. It's come off like a work overall that I bought. It is a new piece of cotton, so I did wash it a couple of times to get any um, chemicals out of it that they use. When they process cotton, older cotton is apparently better for dyeing. So I gave it a couple of washes and I mordanted it. This has just been mordanted with alum. As you will find out in that video if you go and watch it. <laughs> right. <clears throat> now. Do I want to give that a minute or do I jump straight in? corners a little bit not too close Fabric for inner cover. Oh, I've gone off too much there. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah. Oh, I'm getting messy now. Sticky fingers doing this. Just now. Alright. That's one side. And I'm going to do the bottom. So I did mention that I was going to do a sewing video. Uh, uh, change of plans on that one so I was going to do some palazzo pants with some of that grey fabric that I used for my walkaway dress but there wasn't enough fabric so it's going to be something different and I need to start working on that might start working on that maybe today, maybe not be interesting. If it goes well you might even see that before this. <laughs> Since I still have to dye some more fabric for this. Okay. edges oh, so 
a nice to have a Saturday off. I haven't had a Saturday off for a couple of weeks. Next Saturday I'm in again. Um, Things my finger. I've done a slightly better job on that one. Okay, that was not too bad. There we go. So that's the outside cover. That's going to be so beautiful. We might add something to the front, obviously. Make it look pretty, give it a title so we know what it is. But yeah, I'm going to leave that to dry now before I make more of a mess. And I'll see you when I've got some fabric for the inside.
Okay, so I'm going to try and test the noise cancellation on this microphone. I think this is the first time I've used it. Um, there's a lot of noise going on outside. There's a fly in here. So <laughs> we'll see how well it does. So this is my cover. So I've glued in this piece of striped fabric that we dyed with the food colouring. Uh, oh, let's turn the light on so you can see a bit better. No, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, you see it's got sort of purplish tinge to it. I use my pink and shears to go around the edge. And I just glued it in with um, gel medium, same as before. And I have pricked my holes in the papers and the cover. So let's uh, go, shall we? I don't know how I managed to get ink on the back of that signature, but. I did, but never mind, it's fine. So, probably should have opened this before we came on. So I've got this purple variegated thread that I use, because it's quite pretty, I think it goes well. Oh, also, I've glued this piece of sari silk just lightly to the spine so that I can sew through it without it moving too much. I don't really know how much thread I'm going to need. Uh, let's try about that much. Let's see. <coughs> oh, my scissors aren't very sharp. Alright. Um, grab the needle. Here we go. No, uh -huh. here we go. Let's try this one. So I will link the video that I used to learn this technique. It was by C Lemon. She does a lot of book binding techniques, which is nice. Oop. She's also branched out into other crafts as well, just like me. <laughs> she does a bit of everything. Right. I'm going to just pop a knot in the end of this thread. Probably should be a messy knot. Yeah, <clears throat> right. Oh, it's very long. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh dear, that is really long. Why did I do it so long? Okay, right, so you go in to the top hole. Right. And then back in. Pull it, but leave a loop. So what I'm going to do is uh, thinking about maybe popping something like this in there just for a second so that I can <coughs> try and even up those loops. Now I've got to try not to pull that. Uh, right, and then we go sorry, back out. Go into there. No, I've pulled it out already. 
Oh, this is tricky. Right. Just try and get my threads a little bit more even. Right. in oh <laughs> so long I don't know it's so long so I can move so we go back in through there and you know what I need I need a stitch marker oh caught up on the microphone Need a little stitch marker. Uh, oh, and that's pulled that thread through. Right, just bear with me a minute. Let's try that again. Oh, sea lemon makes this look so easy. <laughs> right, so in through the middle. Sure, my signature's the right way. Out of the spine. in through there I've got two clasps on here for some reason we'll use this so that it's not quite so Okay. Fiddly. Let me try. Just zooming it in a little bit. There we go. Right. Alright. Ta da. Okay. So that needs to go in through the signature. There. Right. Now we should be plain sailing, hopefully. <laughs> so now we go out through the second hole. Now we should move that from there. There we go. Right. Chaos. out through the second hole and then let's fold the silk over oh, this might be tricky in and 
It can be a bit tricky when you work with fabric. Oh, and now I'm caught on everything. La 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 la, it's going well. Right. <clears throat> Into the signature. Just go through the signature first so that I can line up that sorry silk. Oh. Let's uh, wait a second and pull that. Right. <clears throat> Back in. Lining up to get the... Uh, Oh, we still caught. So again, that was a piece of sorry silk that was dyed with our solar dye in. Um, that will have been the onion skin. The cat's playing on the landing, it seems. So the cat is in somewhat bad books. My sister has a birthday this week, had a birthday this week. And her workplace bought her some lovely balloons and the cat decided to lick the balloon till it popped and then he ate it. So we spent her birthday going backwards and forwards to the vets to get it out of his stomach. So uh, yeah, just a warning there if you have a cat, do not leave them unattended with balloons, particularly if they like elastic bands and such, which he does. Okay, so that's our first signature. We are in. And then we go in here. Come on, we're going in. We're going in. And then we need our signature. Uh, which way around does this one go? Let's just check, I think. Just check, 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 check. Um, not sure, we we'll get back to that way. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. So we go in. The bottom hole. Cat's absolutely fine now, by the way. He didn't even 
you know, it wasn't bothering him at the time, but we knew they had to come out, so. Yes, he had to have a little sleep and they had to go in, do a little endoscopy. They managed to get it out that way, thankfully, otherwise it would have been surgery. pull on that first signature make it a little tighter there we go lovely and then we go into the next hole I had it then, now it's gone. And out through the spine. trying to find the hole now. Let me see if I can see the light through it. Yes, I can. There. There we go. And in through there. And again, we are stuck on our sound sink. Should probably clip that out of the way or something. But Ooh. okay, our lobster claw has come loose, but that should be okay now. Through there, down through here. To make sure we're going through the silk. Down this way. And through here. In the signature. If I can get it there. It's not going to be your. Let's get you out of here. The naughty sorry silk. Getting in my way. Out through the top. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Oh. 
and then oh and then we get not in our thread that happened in it such long thread let's just see if I can get that out Okay, I've just snipped it. <laughs> so, when you go back through this loop, let me just That knot's kind of gone through there. <laughs> oh well. Now I'm caught up in it. There we No, I can't push it back in. Um. I shall try and sort that out later. Okay. And then... course we go back in And we grab our last signature, we stitch it each way around and do it. That way, okay. 
happening. And then we go in to the signet jar. Oh no, de-threaded. <laughs> it's going well, it's going well. No, it looks nice though. Okay, now I need to find my hole. Let's shine the light here. And out again, make sure we get the silk, lovely jubbly. And back in. And then you loop under that stitch there. And then if you had more signatures, you'd carry on, but we're gonna go back in. To the inside. I'm just going to make sure, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. I'll come and set it again. So, I'm going to go under there. can't even see that create a knot I'll do that again so go under go through create a knot there we go signatures are in There we go, so we can take the little cat paper clips off. Let's 
looks a little bit rickety. Uh, why has that come so loose? Well, that's maddening. <laughs> I need to try and get that knot back to where I think it's really. Anyway, <clears throat> that's not too bad. So, we're going to do our first entry now. We'll try to start it. Uh, I'm going to go and get the bits and pieces. And then I might do just a little section on speed through because that noise, I don't know if it's going to be cancelled out. And I'm hoping it's not drove you crazy all through this segment. So, we'll just do a little bit of a speed through bit. Um, and then you come back at the end. Okay. it for today guys I'll probably add a bit more here because I have done another experiment since so that will go in there let's focus sorry but, um, frame everywhere but never mind uh, yeah so that is my little dye book finished uh, I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, gives you some ideas for something similar. Um, come join me in my solar dyeing experiments. It's great fun. I'm going to be doing another one very, very soon. Well, I've already filmed one. I'm just filming the wrap-up for that. And then I'm going to do another one after that. So <laughs> it's lots of fun. And I'm a bit obsessed. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>